I notice you have a gun already. Boom. I guess there's a lot of guns in here. So I shot two in the chest, and that was right there. This is. So just cheek down and just look down the barrel. Ow, fucking son of a bitch. So we're living in America um, where, you know, things are a little bit uh, chaotic. So I think, you know, it's time to take matters into my own hand and, you know, familiarize myself with gun safety. So today, firearms training. Spelled it wrong again, but. All right. I just came across Marshall Security Training Academy and Range. Let's see what we have here. Please save you money and do not be scammed by these people. Train somewhere else more professional with people that are up to date. Do not do business with this establishment. It's definitely a little bit alarming because, uh, you know, this is guns we're dealing with here. The tall white guy named Daniel will do all he can to flirt with women to get their numbers so he can score a piece of you know what. I feel like you should probably just focus on the gun. Beware of the place and the owner, Edmund. He is a crook that will steal your time and money. Beware, beware, beware. Whoa. So I just came across Edmund's YouTube channel. Got the gun! So uh, I'm not going to lie to you all, I'm definitely a little nervous. Um, I'm going to be handling firearms uh, alongside someone who has received a lot of negative feedback. But you know, I'm here for the cause and I'm going to go in there and uh, try my best. Another day, another business's one star reviews to investigate. At this point in my career, I am prepared for most things in the world of reviews. But when it comes to guns, I am certainly very scared. So hopefully the only people to shoot me today are my camera team with their cameras. How you doing? Hi, how's it going? I'm Taji. Taji, Edmund, nice to oh, meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Edmund. I hear some gunshots going off. There's no way out of shot at Daniel. Hi, Daniel, I'm Taji. Nice to meet you. You too. I notice you have a gun already. You're awesome. <laughs> He's ready. Edmund and Daniel had agreed to guide me through the basics. First in the classroom, then with some baton training, and finishing up with shooting in their range. Right on. Right. Um, may I possibly just use the restroom for a moment? Yes, please. Thank you so yeah, much. Come on. All right. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's take you to one of the classrooms. Part one of my training here involved Daniel explaining the responsibilities of a security guard. Do you frequent nightclubs at all? Occasionally. 95% uh, I'm probably at the entry point, checking IDs, but certainly ID verification, yeah. uh, age verification, access control is, is 21 and up, no exception. By checking everybody's ID and guaranteeing everybody is of age, that violation won't occur. So far, any questions? Um, I think that all makes sense so far, thank you. Daniel is a great teacher, and he was really helping me understand what goes into being a security guard. Do you believe the bartender would be uh, so adamant about checking IDs? <laughs> Probably not. But just as I was starting to get comfortable, Daniel got real with me about just how much responsibility it is for just one person. I'm one guy, I'm not a superhero. I have been in a lot of times uh, in a position where I'm by myself, I'm the only security guard. You think I can prevent everything? Every crime, every possible incident? No. I'm only human, for example. I could be in the restroom, you know? Something happened while I was in there. But again, I can't prevent it all. So you gotta know your limits. Wow. Sounds like a pretty shitty day. <laughs> it's pretty bad, yeah. Let's go to our defensive tactical room. We'll do some baton techniques. Awesome. 
I do have a firearm on me. Let me go ahead and disarm my firearm so make sure it's safety. Edmund then took me through some baton techniques. Strike and come back, okay? Ready? One. Very good. And before long, I was starting to get the hang of it. After I had mastered the baton section of the course, you ever go like this? Probably not, right? <laughs> the next lesson was about how to defend yourself when there's a gun involved. Let's say he's a bad guy, he points out the gun at me. Boom. Good. See? That's it. I'm done. Exactly. Yes. Close. Thank you. You're welcome. Edmund and Daniel certainly knew their stuff. Easily deployable. But I wondered if they had ever had to use these skills in the real world. So I asked them, and Edmund began telling me a wild story of when he worked at a nightclub and had to deal with some rowdy customers. So I asked him to leave. One person got upset, went to the other side of the railroad tracks, not a bunch of rocks. He grabbed, he threw at me, I dodged, and he, he was keep throwing at me. So I shot two in the chest, and that was right there. This is. And the other friends, they tried to get the vehicle to get away. They tried to run me over, that's when I opened additional uh, 10 more rounds, and I struck a vehicle. It was like a movie. So it's good to know all the techniques, how to shoot, which we'll be doing later on, okay? Wow. So, yeah. As much fun as I was having with my new friends, this profession was no joke. You really have to put your life on the line. But in my profession, I have to deal with businesses whose reputations are on the line, and I still had to get to the bottom of these one-star reviews. So you get a feel of it, right? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's definitely of security. very intense, but like, kind of uh, exhilarating at the same time. Yes. Enough with the practice. Now it was time for me to shoot a real gun. Boom. And after a short lesson from Gunmaster Miguel, I think I was ready. But as my finger hovered over the trigger, I couldn't get all of the one-star reviews out of my head. Edmund is the least professional person I have ever encountered. Beware, this is a shady illegal operation. This place is a piece of shit. A tall white guy named Daniel will do all he can to flirt with women. Intense. No, look at your, look at the grouping. Did I get some That's good awesome. shots? Nice. It's in the chest right here. Good shots. A lot louder and a lot more aggressive. Good yeah. job. <laughs> well, looks like I had a pretty accurate shot. And now that Edmund was showing off his shooting skills, I figured it was the perfect time to confront him on his one-star reviews. Come out with left hand. Do you ever do you ever have to deal with any like angry customers at any point Absolutely. in this line of business? Yeah. And they come up again on target. <laughs> Again. I can imagine. I even, you know, before I came in, I checked out some reviews and, you know, I saw some. Yeah, oh some, yeah. Yeah, I saw right. some stuff. Some people were trying to say you're unprofessional. They tried to say you're an asshole. They like were saying all we sorts have, of names. We stuff. have a security firm. We have a lot of security officers who work for us, okay? And some of them, they, when they get terminated, and they all start bad mouth, you know? So it, it happens. Someone said Daniel flirts with the ladies. Have you seen exactly. that? Exactly. Yeah. I've seen the review, yeah. <laughs> well, it was a past employee. Yeah. It was just somebody spreading lies and rumors and nonsense, but... Are you saying it's maybe disgruntled employees posing yes, as customers? Yes, exactly. No customers at all, no. It's upsetting. You get bothered because you know truly you dedicate yourself to teach people. That's why I have a school. Every day I come in, I don't regret. I, I feel good. If I Like today, we helped you how to hold a firearm, to understand the firearm, you know, how it works. Today when I go home, I sleep. Honestly, I feel good that I gave you knowledge. You know? That's my job as an instructor. That's why I chose to do this. But again, it's going to happen out there, you know, so it's okay. That's well put. I appreciate you, you know, Thank you. Uh, right. taking a shot at the reviews. Yeah, my friends in New York, they like go to Pennsylvania and shoot and stuff. Like, yeah. I sent them a photo. They're like really jealous right now. Whoa. Upon arriving to martial security and firearms training, I was met by Edmund, the owner. 
who enthusiastically enrolled me in class. I was then swiftly introduced to Daniel, who would instill introductory knowledge to get me into the right mindset to participate in the world of security and protection. I eventually felt confident enough to put my finger on the trigger, but only under expert supervision. And when I say expert, I mean it. I certainly did not see any sign of unprofessionalism or asshole behavior, as hinted in certain reviews. What I experienced was thorough and specialized care and encouragement. Edmund was armed with convincing responses to my mention of the reviews and fired back at them with great precision. What's the policy with getting people in the balls? Is that frowned upon or like in a dire emergency you could? Frowned upon, certainly. Yeah, frowned upon though. 